Can you hear him now? We'll see what the laser says. The laser doesn't lie. Here's one here. Double trouble. Mike Myers. Says here on the in the show, everyone can see you and hear you. Randy, we look good. We look good, Randy. Can you hear me, Randy? Mike, we can hear you fine. Can you hear us fine? Mike, can you hear us? Mike? Hello? You gotta hit the mic. Can you hear me, oh, now they're muted. Now they're unmuted. We're gonna get there, I promise. This guy can drive the shit out of a pulling tractor. Stranley, what do you got on your face? Happy Halloween! <laughs> you're, you're scary enough without a mask, buddy. So Fred, there. <laughs> there we go. I heard you. I heard you. Mike, I heard you. I can hear that. Tractor, but no. I can hear you guys fine. I can hear you. Mike, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Oh, man. They're so close. They're so close. Technical difficulties. Hey, it's fun. Internet hear is us? Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, she went the same thing. Can you hear us? They've been freezing up. We've been trying. Doing same thing. Well, they can. They at least are talking. Tell their story. Thomas Smith watching on YouTube says Super Farm. He's a Cowboys fan. Yes. Jake Lockery says, "Oh hell yeah, lots of beers. I like it." <laughs> Cheer well, up! Welcome, buddy, to Down and Dirty. The Badger State Tractor Pullers is we're having a little trouble with Mike Meyer. Our 2023 points champion in the hot farm division. Second points championship, I think, with this tractor in the last five years. Did Brandy get rookie of the year with it too? Or maybe I feel like Brandy got a rookie of the year, John, back at like in 15 or 14 or something like that. I think so, yes. Yeah, she drove quite a bit that one season. Yep. I feel like she did. So uh I hopefully Mike and the team will be able to jump back on. Welcome everybody. As John said, it's Monday night, <clears throat> October 30th. Happy Halloween tomorrow. We're supposed to get an inch of snow. John, how much do you have to get the snow plows already down there? Or what's going on for you guys? Yep. You want to talk about it or is it still, are you still in denial mode or? Trying to stay away from talking about work and snow. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> yes. John works, for the, John works for the county, everybody. So that's why, that's why we pick on him a little bit about that because it's about to get okay. real. So, yes, we got guys ready to get trucks ready to go. So hopefully we don't get much of anything, but it sounds like we're going to get a little something out of it, but it won't stick around. But when's, it gonna start? when's it going to start, John? <clears throat> uh, they're saying we're between 2 and 4 a.m. Okay. Yeah, could get an inch to two inches, about the same in your area as well, I do believe. Okay. Yeah, but road temps well, are going to cool. Bridges will be what's sticking and then uh, should clear off. If anything, we got a beautiful picture of Mike's Double Trouble in the background if we can't get them on the show tonight. And I did have a video to play. So let's bring up the results. Let's kind of go through their season, if you don't mind, John. So Sure. Absolutely. Can you talk about our fantastic sponsors of Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers? Give them a shout our out. Sponsors, yep. The Caster family there, Matt Caster, Farm Street Toys. And then uh, Trip Downing uh, with his farm. Uh, help us out. Salama Enterprise is one of our great sponsors for Down and Dirty. And also Casper Egg, Ed Casper out of Belvedere. Can you hear us, Mike? We can hear you great. Yay! Yeah. Praise yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to the show. The point champ is here. The point champ is here. Yeah. And Steve Worth. How you doing, Steve? Good. And yourself? Doing good. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got Mike Meyer. And Steve Worth on board with us here tonight. And I know Brandy's in the background shaking her head and probably cussing at the phone, helping you guys out. Yeah. Yeah. How did you know? How did you know, John? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear, but I could hear from Monroe. I know that. Or Judy. Sure, or sure as hell can't run a computer. That's right. You <laughs> can drive a tractor, and that's all that matters, buddy. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. You guys got a computer on the tractor, or at least to download any of your information? No. Nope. Nope. Go to the dyno, set it, and call her a day. 
Yeah, just something that reads the exhaust temp. There you go. Well, congratulations on the points championship. And so glad to have you guys with us on here tonight. And uh, the hot farm class is not an easy one to win. None of them are easy to win, but it always seems like it's true grit right to the last pull of the year, always in the hot farm class. You guys really, you guys really know what it's like to, to put on a good season. That's for sure. Trading it off back and forth. Yeah. This year, Steve, how many times did Steve drive this year? Oh, we looked. Yeah, it was pretty half and half. Bear Brew got rained out. Otherwise, it would have been half and half. But I think he rode six and I rode eight. Nice. It's fun, you two guys together. And I know Steve's helped you out for so many years and and uh, getting to drive. And that, that's, that's a lot of fun. That's cool to see that two different drivers, same tractor, win the points championship. So congratulations to both of you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. How many years you had this tractor now, Mike? I uh, built it in 10, 2010. Sold my old one and that winter and started building that and got it out middle of 11. I think Darlington was the first hook that 2011. Darlington was? Yeah. Two, two points championships with it, right, so far? Yeah. Did, did Brady get Rookie of the Year with it, too, one year? Yeah, back in 13. 13. Yeah, I, think I remember that. 13. If you don't mind, let's kind of go through the – let's just go hook by hook from the, from the beginning of the season, so that's okay with you, Mike and Steve. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. So we start out with uh, Benefit Pole, Baraboo. Uh, you said they got rained out. What – there are just a couple that didn't get in, or what happened? No, that was the second. Benefit poll was good. Okay. So Mike Meyer got one, two, three, four, fifth place out of yeah. 17 tractors right out of the gate. So you're coming out, and they're looking good there. And then what would have been next? Would you guys put Hook and Macville at all? Or Shapir? No. no. Shapir. Shapir. Okay. Shapir. Shapir, we got, let's see here. So I'm gonna write these down, John. I got a fifth in boo. Oh, I got it written down. Well, get in here, Brandy. What are we doing? That, so that's Brandy, she's got the stats. Look at that. There we go. Awesome. Let's let's tally up. Let's tally up the season, Mike. How many firsts? How many seconds? How many thirds? This is to the point we want to show how difficult it is to win the Badger State Hot Farm Points Championship. Um, she's got six top fives with two wins. Six so top really five. eight top fives. Eight top fives. Eight top fives. And two wins. Yeah. But, yeah, we each had a bad day and towards the bottom or whatever. And That class is so competitive, though, Mike and Steve, and John knows this and I know this. You can do nothing wrong and still finish at the bottom of your class. <laughs> I mean, it's still can, not a damn thing wrong. You know, it didn't yeah. change a, thing, a single thing. From the night before, the weekend before. Danette Williams is checking in. Mike and Steve, two great guys. So you owe somebody 20 bucks, you guys. Some oh, Danette lady saying good things about you. So. <laughs> yeah, but you talk at the bottom of the class. That's within four foot of each other. That's the bottom of the class when there's 17 hot farms that run as good as they do. I mean, that's you almost throw a blanket over all you guys most of the time. It's so close. Yeah. Once yeah. Couple of you guys get a good hook and get out there a little ways, but... That's what's so fun to watch the hot farm class of Badger State. You guys are all good competitors. And show Pierre top five within um, nine feet of each other. Second through fifth within a foot and a half. I mean, that's just, I'm looking through the results on the website right now. It's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know the points of top five were within 30 points from first to fifth this year. Mike, was it Mike and Steve? Was it pretty much locked up in Monroe, or did you did you just have to bump the sled in Monroe, or what happened? Do you remember how close was it? Um, no, no, one by thirteen, but ooh, yeah, that's tight. Nothing. Monroe never really happened. It, nothing got counted because sled malfunctions. But that's right. I forgot about that. The rain, the rain but Wasn't there a big swing of emotions there, Mike and Steve? I feel like the last two or three hooks, like. 
you guys had like a 30 point lead and it got shrunk down and then you got because we talked about it on the, one of the shows one night john am i making that up or do you remember you had some breakage or something there didn't you a turbocharger or something trouble yeah yeah no show sock. yeah um yeah we actually had two badger state wins and two two strikes tri state wins so i had four wins in a row there and then uh went to sock city and last time i pulled in sock city i blew a turbo and said, i'll have steve run it well he blew a turbo again so <laughs> that's not but funny steve, i'm sorry but we had a little bit of a lead there and yeah think we still kept the lead but yeah i got pretty close there yeah steve you went 177 feet there at sock <laughs> with the roll yeah. turbo so that sucks yeah and then that's 14 spots so that would have been it's two points for Badger State points, right? That would have been 28 points. Worst you can get is 25, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. So. But they run the best. They go. Who finished in second behind you guys, Mike and Steve? Do you remember? Um, Tracy and Melvin Paulson did then. Okay. Yeah. yeah so she got seventh that night in sock. So they picked up. They picked up 14 points on you just there that night. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. Her and Dominic, they were right on my ass all the end of the year there. Were the hot farms in Highland, guys? Yeah. Okay, so then Highland was the next hook. Uh, 466. Mike Meyer got fourth place, so he came back strong with a different turbo. Only four feet out of first. And then we headed to, did Roqua happen or did you guys get rained out in Roqua? Uh, no, we got we got it in. Okay. I was actually in the hospital, and Steve had to go pull it up there. And Steve got seventh up there. Good. Yeah. And then the next day, I finally got out of the hospital Saturday morning. I was able to go to the pole, but yeah, Steve drove again. Would have ended at the up home, okay. At the yeah. hometown pool? Yeah. Yikes. My dog wants to go outside, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's we have a professional podcast studio here at the Schultz House. <laughs> the, the dog rules the roost there, you know that. So I got mine upstairs. It takes an army to keep the tractor going, and and I'd only assume that Meyer performance is a lot of parts and stuff underneath the hood. You and you and Johnny put the motor and stuff together for that all the time. Uh, he helps me out. Yep. So, lets me know what it, what I need or what I need to do. But that's awesome. Who uh, who else helps you out with that thing, like tires or such, or if you have any sponsors or anything? Who else helps out on it? Um, Hawthorne does the tires, and Weiss, you know, cuts them and everything, and. Got that done at the end of the year there, and thanks to Mark and uh, Kevin Engelkin, Dino. And then, uh, just some machine work from Steve himself and making parts and everything else. That's cool. Also cool to see you guys, you know, the family going and the nephew pulling the other tractor. It's it's good to see you guys roll in and have so much fun and pulling together. That's awesome. Did you catch that? No, I didn't catch that. I said it's fun to see the nephews pulling the 466 Express and you guys all rolling in and, and pulling. It's, it's fun to see the Meyer group when you go to one of the pools and the hot farms are all there. Yeah. Yeah, we have a good time. And mom, mom come to the pool and watch him. Yeah, yeah, she goes once in a while. Stacy Seth Rude Smith back says Brandy is his sponsor. Big old smiley face. Can't hear you now again. Internet jumping. Stacy Seth Rude Smith back 
said Brandy is his sponsor. The big smiley face. Still not. And Aaron. They sure look good sitting there, though, John, don't you think? Have yes, they do. Champions. Yep, all cleaned up, looking good. Took a shower and brushed her teeth and everything. So. Yes, absolutely. Must be their internet. Yeah, I don't know. I We called him, and he said they don't have problems. They watch YouTube videos and stuff all the time, and I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Look at the I picture behind him. On. Yeah, Look at the pitch behind them, Jason, firing at all cylinders. They yep. got three of the fire tractors there with the Monroe High School football team. I love which it. is also uh, advancing this week here, I think, playing Stoughton Vikings. And they're on their way to the path to the state championship again. So that's pretty that's cool awesome. that the pulling tractors were in there. It's super cool. I love it. Yeah, and oh. now, nephew plays on the team. Yeah. Okay. Hi, right now. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just sitting here. We can hear them, but they can't hear us. Yeah. That stinks. We can hear them just fine. Yep. Frustrating. Well, we can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yay! <laughs> Round of yeah. I don't know what is going on. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> it's just got to be the internet, Randy. Don't worry about it. It's all good. So, oh, I apologize. Not your fault. So, uh, start with John. Start with the comment on the screen again. Brandy is his sponsor, says Stacy Sefrood Smithback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're also commenting on the poster behind you guys with the tractors in there and the football team. How'd you guys get that arranged? Nope. We're gone again, Jesus. Jason. I don't know why. Can't understand you again. I don't know. I feel like if I hold it or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I don't care who you are. Chuck Stanley, great family, good people. Yeah, so let's say some good things about Mike and Steve while they can't hear us. So we, well, I, I can hear you now. Yeah. I can leave <laughs> the comments on the screen. So. So if you have something good to say to Mike or Steve, um, they're in. Uh, they can't hear us, but we can hear them, and we'll put the comments on the we screen. We can hear you now. Oh, Mike! Yeah, I thought it was a joke. So <laughs> for now, we're good. On the poster behind you, how did that happen? Um, Elaine's a senior this year, and they uh, wanted to do something with the tractors, and they come up with that and had the whole team out there. Actually, looks pretty cool. Looks it awesome. pretty cool. Yeah. If I was a good producer, I'd make that really big. Look at me, John. <laughs> Look at me, John. Yeah. I That's love it. pretty cool. They're doing good. They're playing Stoughton Vikings this weekend, aren't they? In Monroe. Oh, lost them again. Oh. Say we can't hear you, hear John. We can hear fucking Schultz just fine. <laughs> can't hear you again. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is awesome. You hear Schultz now? This is your no. show, John. I'm just I'm just your producer, buddy. So <laughs> I'm just your producer. How long do you think how long do you think the Myers have been pulling, John? While we stand there and just stare at Steve and Mike. I think they've been pulling for I don't know. Their dad was pulling in the seventies, I think. So the boys yeah. grew up with it, for sure. So they've been pulling forever. I want to talk to him about. I want to talk to him about the Midwest Winter Nationals too. That their family has more wins there than I think any other family. You got yours off. off. Their hot farm. Yes. I yeah. think they, Well, John I think Senior. John Senior won a bunch, and then um, John Junior and Mike. And I feel like they've just they've cleaned house down there over the years well, in hot yeah. farm, and then. That Clint puts that 9,000 super farm together as well, John, and then yep. kind of mixes them together. And the Meyer tractor always jumps in there as well and do well. So, don't that 9,000 super farm isn't a lot of them like 540s or stuff in there, too? No, I think it's more like 466 tractors with like the 80 with the 24 fives on them and stuff like that. Oh, okay, that's how, that's how he blends them together. I he does a different, um, oh shoot, what he calls that like a limited pro light pro mix. I forget what he calls oh. that. 
but I know yeah. what you're talking about. So, uh, Angie Adrian says, "Oh, Brandy, they could hear Brandy in the back." Yeah. She said, "We can't, we can't hear John, but we can hear F and Schultz." I heard her say that, and that made me giggle. <laughs> I think the first time either one of us has heard F and Schultz in the same sentence, have we? No, it's been probably about three hours ago, to be honest. About 4.30, I was talking to a, talking to a client. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, if you can't laugh, what the heck, right? Exactly. No, they're the Meyer family, if it, as anybody knows, is just synonymous with Badger State truck and tractor pulling. Um, obviously, John Jr. has the, the limited pronoun, but that started as a hot farm, the 1206. And of course, they got John Senior's tractor that you said the nephews are driving now. Um, it's yeah. been a lot of fun. So, a lot, a lot of Cole, fun with all of that. So, yeah, Cole and Lane have been running that last few years, and they do a great job of that. It's it's good to see them in the tractor and the legacy of the Meyer family. That tractor still going all the time. That's that's yep. what's really great about that. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm gonna be proud. That's for sure. For sure. Um, Steve been helping Mike as long as you I've old, as long as I've seen the Meyer, Steve's have been as Steve has been around. So is yes. that, that a pretty accurate statement there, John? Yeah, he's helped for years and um been around. They've been good buddies and like he said, you know, he helps machine, helps with parts, put stuff together. So uh, yeah, very critical part to the uh double trouble, that's for sure. Yep. He said now what tractor, what sheet metal do you have before the eighty eight series? Do you remember? Yeah, he had a 66 series tractor. It was like a red and silver, and he okay. sold it. And that went up north. We actually, what pull was that? We used to pull way up north in Surring or something. Yeah. We've seen it up yep. afterwards. That was, oh, I don't know, got to be. Well, he sold, what do you say, 2010 he built this one, so 13 years ago. Yep. But they had that one for a while, and um I thought I thought they had another one too. Fourteen sixty six. Angie Adrian says. Six. Thanks, Ange. But I went up north, and he built that one. And uh, that thing is a sharp tractor. You don't see a lot of the, uh, you know, eighty eight series like that out there. And Johnny Link's got his out there, but you don't see too many of them, which is kind of nice. Uh, I like the new sheet metal, but it's good seeing the old sheet metal around too. The biggest trouble I think guys have nowadays is is getting everything to fit underneath the hoods of them things. Yep. But the hot farm is a little easier because you don't have a big, you know, big honking intercooler in there. And so it makes a little, little more room to move stuff around if you need it. Love it. The hot farm okay. class too. You know, Somebody we, started we, a Facebook page called the Steve Worth Fan Club. I just found, I'm Did Googling they, them right now. <laughs> I just put it in the link, everybody. So if you want to click on that, this is funny. Looks like it'll start. Oh, they're back. They must have paid their internet bill. They're back. Well, Spectrum. I Welcome. don't know what the hell is going on because we can log on just fine. We can hear you guys. You can hear us. And then all of a sudden, it starts cutting out. And then we can't like hear your complete sentences. So I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just happy you're back. So. Jesus, <laughs> Mike. Could before be the, Mike, before your internet goes away again, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to be funny. Sorry. Anybody you want to thank? And I really want I want you to start like, what are some of your earliest pulling memories with your dad? And I want to talk about Ship Shawana, Midwest Winter Nationals, a little bit as well. We talked about that briefly while you guys were off air. Uh, your family's had a lot, a lot, a lot of success at that indoor event. So take it away. Uh, yeah. We went to Gordyville quite a few years there, and yeah, it was, did pretty good with dads, and had my old tractor down there a couple times, and this one a bunch down there, and never won the whole thing, but come close a few times. Now, the last couple of years, been going to Shipshawana, and um, ended up second last year in the finals, so I was happy with that. Good deal. Nice. What are some of your earliest pulling memories as a kid, Mike? With dad? Oh. Like any particular places? And like what was it just a farm stock? Was it kind of, you know, are we still farming with the tractor? What are some of them early memories, Mike? Um yeah, he bought that tractor in 
81 or 83, I think. And, uh, yeah, within a year or two, he was pulling it in farm classes and stuff. And we'd run around to different poles. And then every year something changed something, you know, but be a little bit hotter or whatever but yeah it was fun i remember riding the old 83 chevy pickup and gooseneck trailer and whatever but three kids in the truck and mother but uh yeah it was all good i think uh first time i pulled i was 12 but it wasn't that tractor, but I probably pulled it when I was 16, I think. I think the first what? time I, I think the first time Mike. I pulled it, it was on uh cement because it got rained out and we pulled on the cement slab next to the dirt track. Mike, were you really 16 or was it the wink wink he's 16? We hear that story quite a bit. I don't know. I think I drove there, so I must have been 16. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, Steve, as long as I've seen the Myers around, Steve Worth has been there. What's your history with the family and the friendship, and how does it all come together, Steve? Well, I guess when you live just down the road from them and always over there or over to my place or whatever, and, yeah, I just started going to the tractor poles, and I don't know, I remember going to Dakota and driving six tractors to Dakota and pull down there or, or going to the county fair and, getting a ride home on the three-wheeler after we got home at 11 o'clock at night, you know? So yeah, it's been a couple of years. Tell us more stories about that. That sounds interesting, Steve. About, about what? The the three-wheeler in 11 o'clock. Oh, well, you know, it was late and everybody had to get up milk in the morning. So that's probably more if, like one o'clock. Yeah, if, if, I don't know how I got there, but I remember getting a ride home on a three-wheeler a couple of times when we were probably 13 or 14 years old. Awesome. So, I only live a couple, three miles down the road. Okay, great. So have you how long have you been helping or been going to the polls with the Myers? Oh, well, since then I guess I started well, I quit farming in ninety-eight and uh that's when I started working where I work now and turned into a machinist and been making parts and helping ever since. Awesome. That's good stuff. That's good to have machinists in your in your life, Mike, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong there. Mike, um, I found or Steve, I found the Steve Worth fan club on Facebook. This is a, oh, yeah. uh -huh. I think it's time to resurrect this page and make what's it a little this? more. Yeah. Uh, okay, what's the story? Does somebody playing a prank on you, or what do we got going on here? Well, the Meyer girls know I'm not on Facebook, so they thought they'd start that. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> They're here to help. <laughs> they are. They're always here to help. What year did you guys start pulling Badger State, Mike? Uh, must have been like 06. It was like the first or second year the 466 class was pulling. I don't think I pulled the very first year, so I wasn't good enough yet. So I just run around with the other brush poles yet. What well, keeps bringing you guys back year after year? Oh, just competition and what is that? Oh, <laughs> just good people to pull with and just always have a good time. I've never That's an awesome. That. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. Who put that on there? That that's that's your cover photo on your Facebook group. <laughs> yes, <That's> nice. <laughs> Did you put that on Hold it when you're driving a tractor pull. You shot a oh, here in twenty. I guess <laughs> I don't even know what's on it. Yeah, no, clearly, clearly, there's some good stuff on here. Steve Worth fan club. Everybody, I'll put that in the link. It's only got 98 likes. I'd like to kick that up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody yeah. can do it, you can. I can. I'm gonna push it out. It's gonna be on Badger State here right now. Watch this. <laughs> Badger State. Facebook page. Like Keep talking. Keep talking, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even see what the other ones are. Yeah, I don't 
I mean, the Badgers. I mean, if you are a points champion, you're allowed to have your own Facebook page, don't you think? So? <laughs> yeah, right. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Now he'll be signing autographs and kissing babies and oh, yeah, yeah. other women in the beer tent and carrying mm -hmm. on, you know. Probably their own special table. You know what I'm saying, John? <laughs> Could be. What's on your mind? Here we go. Create a post. Yeah, we're doing it right now. We're going to. Leave Worth. I'm signing in for you. Please go follow the <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Big deal. Big deal. Hey, thanks. Hey, we're having fun, Steve. Yeah, well, we well, John was asking the question, you know, why do you keep coming back? We all know this takes up a lot of time and eats a lot of money, but you know, doing all this together, honestly, with your friends and the memories that you guys have, that's what, you know, that's what makes it really fun for me, for everybody. Yeah. So you got a nice buck there in 2019, Steve? Check this uh, out. Yeah, I get lucky once in a while. Yep. So count them there. Look at Steve, looking good. So Look at that. There's Steve makes it up with trouble. This, uh, oh, yeah. that's this year? No, what year is that? Oh, God. I think that was in, I don't know how I remember this, but I think it was in Platteville. Okay. Uh, 2019, yes. Steve Worth enjoyed a beer after his first place finish tonight on Double Trouble in Platteville. Congratulations, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we're going back to 2017 now. Throwback Thursday. There you are. Now there. What bar is this at, guys? Oh, that's got to be the Judah bar. bar. <laughs> Judah. Yeah. Strandley, Strandley you ever been to the Judah bar? Times. Never been to that bar. I've been to a lot of taverns, but never been to that one. There's a good photo. I like that. Oh, yeah. We could get that framed. That's where we solve all our problems. The yeah. Judah Bar. <laughs> and create more for others. Mike loves, he can just see Mike right here. I love to get his picture taken. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy Mike taking the pictures. For Probably. sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Steve Worth fan club. Let's see if we got a hundred likes yet. I'm checking right now. We we're in, oh we got we picked up one follower so far, Steve. We we're starting at ninety. <laughs> Come on, wait, let's get let's see if I can. Oh, can I be in it? Can Badger State be the hundred? Yes, we got picked up two more followers, Steve. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you're viral. You're viral, Steve. All right. Oh. Um, you guys, John, I got a question. John, I got a question on the screen. Can you handle that? Yeah. Is Double Trouble going to the Midwest Winter Nationals in Shipshawana, Indiana in January? This is David Vandenberg. Yep. Yeah, I'll pull in the 9,500 hot farm and then Steve will run 9,000 super farm again. Nice. There's like 80 hot farms going this year, Mike, is what nice. I've been told. Last I seen her was 70 in three different heats. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call it the Midwest Winter Hot Farm Nationals is what I'm gonna change. <laughs> I gotta I'll call Tucker. He's picking corn right now and see if he can let me change the name of it. So. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good. Do you think he'd allow you to do that? I doubt it, but it's worth a phone call. I'm not afraid. Right. So. Yeah, worth a phone call anyway. Yeah. Yep. So when are you gonna let Brandy back in the seat again now? Brandy, when are you gonna drive again? Yeah, I said she don't want to. What? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Huh. Yikes. <laughs> Not that well, I know of the, anyway anytime soon. So throughout the season and you come to a poll and you got a lot of tough competitors in your class, when there's one person that hooks to the sled, that's one of the fiercest and one of them that's like, yeah, this is going to be tough to beat. Who would that be? Oh, boy. Anybody. You never know, actually. But uh, this year, yeah, it was either Paulson's or uh, Dominic. Right. Loof Burrows. It's close, ain't it? Yeah. Tough. Tough question. Yeah, I think me and Dominic, we were then a couple thousandths of an inch a couple times. 
if you had the opportunity to drive somebody else's tractor or pulling truck, what would it be? And whose would it be? And where would it be? <laughs> oh boy. Um, I guess when I was growing up, I always liked uh, uh, Red Line Fever, Vesden Lanes. So probably we a super stock diesel. Where, I guess I'd probably pull it anywhere. <laughs> Hometown, Monroe. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's either that or the. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I forgot the name now. <laughs> Picked up five new followers, Steve. Five All right, we're cruising. Cruising for the night. That's six or seven already. Amazing. Yeah. What's one of your favorite polls? You go to a bunch of polls throughout the summer, but you know on the schedule, this poll's coming. This is fun. I love to go there. Love to pull there. We do good. What 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 poll is that? Oh, I always like going to your hometown poll. But uh I guess Darlington's always a one two. Get a lot of family and friends and co-workers and everything else that usually up there and usually a good time and pulling in Monroe twice once at the fair and then at the end of the year so yeah. that's the probably the toughest one to win yeah I won fall nationals there one year but it's been a long time <laughs> I don't think there's I ever 20, won a fair pole there there's 2017 Mike yeah She's just entering what's known as the beach. <laughs> Is that me or Brandy? Uh, That's probably me. It wouldn't be her. You. She did it in 13, I know. Is that 17? Are you sure, Jason? That's what that's what the um that's what the Facebook well that's when the, it was posted anyway. It could be I'm on um I'm 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 um, I'm trolling Mike Meyer right now on the internet. This is what I'm finding. Fine. There, now we got Brandy on there. See, she can hide behind the camera, but not. Got to give Brandy some love. There's a video somewhere of camera right in the dirt in the pile at the end of the track, and Brandy was driving and almost hit it, drove right up into it. But I think that was one of Jesse Post's videos, Mike. Um, he put a GoPro right in the sand pile, and you guys yeah. drove right at it. Yep, that'd been. 13 or 14 probably well you just give me a few minutes and i'll go oh find geez <laughs> you'll find it guaranteed i remember hearing there. your voice on there that's back when they let me drink and announce mike i was i was awesome <laughs> i was awesome yeah. Yeah. at that point in time he was his own favorite announcer that might have been the year. That might have been the year I went to the bar, Mike and Steve, between sessions on Saturday, and I came back Saturday night after getting into some shots. And they took the mat, they took the batteries out of my microphone and told me to find some more batteries. And they hit all the batteries in the building. So that might have been that year. So yeah. <laughs> well, you can't say they took didn't take the mic away from you. You know. No, they did. They, they it was the right thing to do. I've seen myself when I get like that. So that's why I'm pretty well. I'm pretty much old and boring now. I'm pretty much old and boring now. You'll have that from time to time. There's one guy on pulloff.com, though, that still remembers that. And he always hammers on me still about that, like 15 years ago. Look at that. 2013. Brandy. Hello? Do we lose him? I don't know. I'm not losing it again. Oh, shoot. This is, John, this is Brandy. This is on Brandy's Facebook page from 2013. It's a good picture. The old mechanical mule. That's in Monroe. Oh, that's Mike. I zoomed in on his face. Okay, I thought maybe it was Brandy, but it's Mike driving. Is it Mike? Yep. Yeah, Brandy does not have a mustache, as far as I know. So. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looked a little closer. I don't have my spectacles on. If you rebooted it one last time, it would get us to the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what Steve's saying. I like other. Uh, good evening, Jeff Cavanos. Did, um, hey, did he say Diesel Superstock's his favorite class, Strandley? Yep. Yeah, uh, I think maybe I love I love him now more than I did an hour ago. That's all I'm gonna say. So that's it. That's all. 
That's it. What do you want me to say? I'm excited. That's my favorite class too. So. Joe Capinos, he, he pulls, uh, does he have a super farm down by Plano? No, he sold, he had a hot farm and he sold it. The road gear deer, road gear or something. Uh, he's up there. Yeah. He ran a lot of NEW Hold hot on. farm. Yeah. Would always pull against the Myers and, um, and ship. Pull, so. Pull tri-state, I think. Uh, no, it was NEW. 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 Can you hear us now, Mike? You went up there and pulled with him one time. Turtle what? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, good. Good thing it, it went quiet. Jason wasn't being very nice. Brandy, oh. you know. <laughs> Jeff Kapanos is building a pro stock? What? Is this true? <laughs> that was happening up there. You can't, Jeff, you can't put comments on there like that and then just leave us hanging. I know there's like a seven second delay, but you got to tell us what's going on. So. Hmm. He's going to build a red one. That'll yeah. get everybody yeah. all wound up. There's no way in hell he'll build a red one. <laughs> so pulling throughout the summer, is there a favorite sled you like? Or wait a minute, let me rephrase that. Is there a favorite sled the tractor likes? Um, we seem to do good with uh, Iron Anchor. I always have liked that sled, even, you know, the mechanical mules. Good sled to pull. Makes you drag it. Gives you some draw bar. Yeah. They, uh, they've done a good job with that. Fritz Lukey and... And Dean Lighton been running it. Uh, Dean's the president of Badger Trucks, and, and Fritz has got trucks and pulls, but they took that adventure on, and they've done a great job of that. Yeah. we got to go down and visit them with the Down and Dirty one of these days, too. <laughs> so, Monroe, so Greg always likes to ask. Greg's a foodologist. So, Mr. Elsing wants to know, what pull do you go to it has the best food. We don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's rephrase that. What poll do you go to that has the coldest beer? You can't oh. say your own. Now the benefit poll had good food this year. I, yeah. We enjoyed that up the bear boo, and that was good. Always a good feed up there. Yep, yep. Good Millageville too. Millageville. Millageville. They go through the trouble to make any food, it's all good. Absolutely. Who else would you like to thank this that's uh that you might have missed before we wrap things up here tonight? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think I mentioned a few of them. Um, Kevin Anglican, brother John Meyer performance, uh, Hawthorne and Steve for doing some machine work and stuff he does and mother and nephews and everybody else that helps out. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you guys at the banquet. So hopefully you got your rooms all reserved, ready yep. to go. Yeah. So when was the last points championship? Was that 2019? Two years, 21. 21. Well, it was that close. So yep. two points championships in a couple of years. That says a lot about your program. It was second last year. Yeah. Right up there. Consistency, that's for sure. Consistent keeps you right, right at the top. Yeah. That year I didn't win any hooks. and This year we had a couple hooks that we won. But. It says, uh, Dave Vanderberg says, can you bring double trouble to the pole in Michigan at all? <laughs> I like pulling anywhere, but. I'm sure we'll have a pull around here somewhere, same time. <laughs> Eric and Jennifer Wettenkamp say congratulations on the points <clears throat> championship. Thank you. 
Mike, what year do you think was that? I've been looking for that video. What year do you think it was 2013, the sand pile video? Uh, it was probably 14 in Gordyville. I feel like I let you down. I haven't found it yet. So <laughs> Usually he's right on top of that. Oh, there's a Penny lot of there's a lot of videos of these guys that I'm running through right now. So is there anybody else that has any questions or wants to know anything from Mike or Steve or Brandy? Just jump on there and ask. And we'll bring it across and, and and ask it for you. Yeah, we got three minutes left on the clock, Stranley. Three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. So you better make it quick. I want to check on the Steve Worth fan club updates and let you know how we're doing on that. <laughs> I, I can't even remember who's the admin of that page anymore. I'd love it for you to make me one though. Cause I could have a lot of fun with that. So. Oh my God. We're going to have to get on that. Yeah, you did it, didn't you? I think it was Amy. I think it was Amy. Uh, yeah. I think it was Amy that started it. It was like down when we were down in Gordyville or something. Uh, yep. Know. Probably a few a few lattes were involved in that. Yeah, alcohol alcohol usually makes us more awesome than we really are. So, <laughs> Christopher Templeton wants to know any plans to move up classes or stay four sixty six Hot Farm. Uh, as far as I know, just stay at Hot Farm. Nothing wrong with that. At Nothing uh, at all. Shauna Shauna Bergerman said Amy made it. So, yeah. yep, yep. <laughs> Probably both them together. Yeah, Shauna, we just need to pass. Just make me an admin. That's all I need, and we can have a lot of fun. So, so Ang Angie Adrian said, "What vehicle would you want to drive?" He said a little bit ago it was uh, the Red Line Fever as in lanes. Yep. And now that, and now that uh, Jason knows that he's a super stock diesel fan, he's like went up like a hundred points. Yeah, you know, Mike, Mike has a case of size. Yeah. I've always respected you, but my level of respect is over the top now. Over the top now. So. <laughs> oh, I'd like the bone twister too. Oh yeah. How about the high tech redneck? That's a hell of a tractor. So I did like it. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden they're gone. I'll be damned. <laughs> There was some technical difficulties. <laughs> Crackerhead Meyer. I've been <laughs> saying nice things about you for an hour. It's hard to do that. And then you do that to me. <laughs> That's Jason, funny. you do a great job with all this too. So I, just we appreciate I, that. I love you guys. You know that. It's all good. It's all good. I love all of it. I love all of it. I'm proud of you guys. What a great season. That I go all over the country now, pulling and watching pulling. And I still talk about the Badger State Hot Farm class from top to bottom. It's, it's one of the stoutest classes anywhere. And John knows this from announcing. And Steve and Mike and Brandy, you guys know from participating in it on a weekly basis that you just never know. Anybody can win any night. So, yeah, for sure. Congratulations. Again. Here's one here. Sorry, for I didn't mean to do that. And we'll see you guys. Up at the banquet. Yep. Yeah, looking forward to it. The band sounds oh, like it's going to be good. Is it the same band as last year? No. No? Is it? I have no that idea. band was really good last year. No idea. I'm not sure. I guess I just looked them up on Facebook, but they look pretty good. Oh. Well, I'm gonna. I need to wrap it up, guys, so I can get ready for Let's Grow Pulling. Mike, Steve, Brandy, thank you, Mr. Stranley, thank you as well. John, mention our sponsors one more time. I'm gonna show a video clip of I think it was Mike driving at Mazo, or was who drove in Mazo this year? Uh, I did. Okay, so John, wrap it up, and I'm gonna play a video, and then we're gonna have a good night. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank, uh, thank you. Farm Street Boys. Thank the buyers for coming on with us here tonight, Steve Worth. Trip Downing, Slama Enterprises. And if anybody has any Badger State tickets, let's get a hold of Jack's box, get them turned in, and get them taken care of. The time clock is ticking, and he needs to get that done. So thanks, everybody, for watching every week. And thanks, Myers, for coming out of this. Congratulations once again. Join us every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Down and Dirty podcast live with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. You can also listen to this. Uh, on iTunes and Spotify, go to Let's Grow Pulling. 
and search for Down and Dirty. Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy a badass video of Double Trouble in Maisel, Maney, Wisconsin. Have a good night, everybody. Well, here's one here. Double Trouble, Mike Meyer out of Monroe.